there was a lot of Suzuki training in the theater program at the arts high school, um, and uh, Suzuki uses Greek stories as a basis for a lot of the pieces that we did. Um, I might have to explain Suzuki training now. Suzuki is a, um, a Japanese style of theater, and it's a, um, it seems like it would be something that's really old, but it's actually fairly new. It's in its like third generation. Tadashi Suzuki is, uh, I believe he's still alive and training in Japan, but his training uh, stems from uh, ancient Japanese beliefs of like drawing energy and spirits from the ground. There's a lot of grounding work. It's an intense physical training um, that has a lot of, has a very specific physical vocabulary, um, but it uses, uh, specifically in the way that I trained with it, it used a lot of um, Greek and Shakespearean text as like it's to, was what was used to connect the physical to the to the vocal created pieces and a lot of those were we were given the Greeks or specific Greek stories as prompts for those so we would be doing like it would be like a group of people creating a piece um, in the Suzuki style but about using like Oedipus or Sophocles or all of these things like as the as the story that we're trying to tell through this specific physical vocabulary. There was something about reading all of the major Greek literature before traveling and in one go of experiencing the breadth of this is pretty much everything that Aeschylus wrote and everything that Euripides wrote and everything that Aristophanes wrote and then here are the here's all of the historical context of everything that they wrote and what was happening in the world at that time. And just seeing uh, the real specific scope of it kind of broke down that barrier between the present and the past. With the Greeks and definitely with Shakespeare too, but, but, but I think even more so with the Greeks because it's even further back in history, there's, that, there's the idea that, that the historical is put up on this pedestal and this specifically like academic pedestal of this is something that is like the pinnacle of human civilization and it is so far rem like the it's so far removed from who we are on like a pedestrian level that we as a society specifically in America as well have like worked to emulate what they did what the Greeks did as a society, but that we don't, but I think what gets lost is that how we relate to the Greeks on like a human level.